Now, this might be a conflicting question, but let's hear it. This year, if you've been following the NHL, which I'm sure you have at least to an extent, who should win the Calder Trophy? <laughs> we were actually, it's funny because we were just debating about that a little bit in the locker room. And <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously, if a golfer with, with Faber, um, he's having an unbelievable rookie season. But, you know, I, it's a tough question. But <laughs> I think, you know, Bedard is, is also having, obviously, a great campaign with his rookie season as well. And, um, yeah, it's it could go either way. We'll see. I'm excited to watch that down the stretch, though. There's a spot for you in politics one day. There you go. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> how much have you gotten to know Connor a little bit? I know I'm sure in camps and, like, the draft, like, how much you got to see him? And, like, obviously the hype around him is off the charts to, for a guy to handle the situation like he has. Yeah, it's it was really cool to see that, obviously. So – Getting drafted on the same day to the same team, we had the old Blackhawks after party, and I uh, got to meet him there. And first impression was just solid, really great guy. Um, you know, people talk about the hype he gets. You could never tell with with the way he acts and the way he approaches the day to day. Just from being at Dev Camp with him too. Um, you know, he's just he's just a normal guy, and and uh, seems to be a great teammate. Obviously, you guys see the way he handles the media and stuff. It's it's not easy for – I mean, I can imagine it's not easy how much media he gets, but just how professional he is and um, how process-oriented he is and the way he handles it is something that, you know, I'll definitely try to emulate. I know, obviously, he started his career right away in the NHL and everybody's dream is to play in the NHL. Just what's your overall feel on your development so far and kind of where you want to be in terms of being ready for the next steps? I'm sure people will be – Asking you, you know, next couple months of if you're going to be in that, following that footsteps of going to the NHL or if you're spending some more time in school. Yeah, I think, I mean, obviously my first half of the year is, it's a big adjustment for sure. Just playing the schedule that we have. I think we have one of the better schedules and the teams we play, the play, the players we play on, on a nightly basis in college hockey is, it's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, honestly, I'm just focused on that right now and haven't really thought at all about next year. Um, kind of what's to come, but yeah, just super, super excited for the next, you know, couple weeks here. We got a big couple of weeks and just focused on that. Have the Blackhawks give you a lot of feedback at all in terms of, Hey, you need to work on this. Or I'm sure Matsko and those guys have given you feedback too, in terms of making some steps, but overall what things you need to work on or feel like you need to improve on here at this level. Yeah, for sure. I think they have a great development staff for Chicago and just being able to talk to them. I mean, they have, a lot of resources there. And I think some of the things that they kind of say is just, just overall game. I think that's the big thing. And if you can just get better at something every day and, and just try to improve every day that, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to become a better hockey player. So that's kind of the direction from them, but obviously a great coaching staff here with, with Gordo and killer and um, Mont and coach Mosco too, to kind of help me with that as well. Nice. Who do you think you fit better with on a line? Bedard or Celebrini? Oh, I don't know. I think I was talking to Connor a little bit at Dev Camp. He said he likes playing with fast players, so I obviously might know him a little bit better, too. So let's just say. <laughs> All right. Yeah.